right out of the gate, I'm going to ask you to just please like this video, <laughs> even though the news is not good. Having done a video about my cold damaged summer blooming Phalaenopsis novelty hybrids about a month ago, I did mention that, well, I was really excited that my Tabasco Tex here has got a second little plantlet growing that grew throughout a great time of year in 2023. Everything was looking hunky-dory, lush and beautiful. However, in that video a month ago, I also also said, but what if there is something wrong with the orchid that I can't see, that I can't tell you about, but the orchid already knows more, and that is why she grew a plantlet. Well, here we are four weeks later, and we've got stem rot. This is the main plant right here. And it happened within a matter of three days from the point that I noticed it to now filming it. Pretty sad, and that's why I said if you would be so kind as to please give this video a like right out of the gate, that would make me feel a little bit better because I really have no plans on losing this orchid. However, it is not in my hands to do anything about it with the exception that I want to make sure that this part is dry, what I have left of her. I want to make sure that hopefully I can get the second little plantlet there to continue growing so we don't lose the orchid entirely and also i want to point out how extremely dry everything is here with these bracts they're crispy dry and yet the crown got stem rot so that is a massive blow for the progress health and development of this orchid under ideal conditions, what I would recommend you do is unpot the orchid, get rid of all the dead stuff, cut everything away, and then also, well, I would use dragon's blood if the tissue were wet, just to make sure that all the antibacterial, antifungi properties of a dragon's blood can ooze into the cell structures. If you don't have dragon's blood, cinnamon will do. Now, I do have my snips here. I do have them sterilized because I was intending to cut away the stem. But because everything is really, really dry down here, I'm not going to cut into anything. It would appear that the stem rot was right. Well, it was actually crown rot and everything here is very woody. But I'm not going to unpop my orchid because I do not have ideal conditions. I am going to wait until hopefully she grows some new roots that I can work with. If she makes it, we have another, for an orchid like this in my climate here in Southern Spain, we have another eight weeks to go roundabout for the night temperatures to start to settle down into 18 degrees, approximately eight weeks if all goes well. I'm not entirely sure. And then of course I have to consider the timing as to how long I have to wait for her to grow new roots. I can see that there are some good roots in the pot where the plantlet is. They are greening up, so I'm not worried about that. Of course, the roots that are up here by the stem, they are desiccating, that is normal. But other than that, I figured it was extremely important to post this video as I was apprehensive four weeks ago. I wish I could say I was totally wrong and that I was way too pessimistic. But once you're in a situation where you get to know your orchids, you know your conditions, you're watching the weather forecast, you kind of start to get an inkling as to what could possibly go wrong, even though you don't want it to, even though you're doing your best to avoid it. So yeah, Yes, Tabasco Tex, we've lost the mother plant. We've still got the baby to the side, keeping fingers crossed that it will hold on. We've got at least eight weeks to go. Worst case scenario, 12. For the night temperatures to be acceptable where there is no more stress on this orchid. I appreciate that you're here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do wish you a wonderful day, even though mine has already gone a little bit pants at the moment, I have to say. I wish you a wonderful day, but I will attach a condition to that, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.